already we're covering more questions all about the land investment business and austin had reached out and asked when buying properties under 10k or even under 5k it seems closing costs when combined on the purchase side and on the sales side can add up to a couple thousand dollars are there any good methods to reduce these costs so yeah very valid question and yeah there's a couple different strategies to reduce costs or to expand your profits here so if we're using title companies, I'll share an example of a deal I did in Florida, do several down there, but just the most recent one here, just kind of break things down. I sent out a direct mail piece, purchased a property for $500. I turned around and gave this property to a real estate agent who put it up for, I believe, $4,900. We ended up taking an offer on it, I want to say at $37,500. So when I purchased it for $500, after I had paid my closing costs and all that, I think I was all in for $1,100. I believe we sold it for $3,700, somewhere in there. So $1,100 minus $3,700 is $2,600. Out of that, I did pay closing costs again, but I walked away with a $2,000 profit when it was all said and done, assuming I'm doing my math right here. So with that, yes, closing costs through a title company are gonna eat into your profits, but they're gonna keep everything squeaky clean. So how do we get around this and get better profits? One, we can make more aggressive offers, which the economy we're climbing into right now, I think tremendous opportunities are gonna present themselves to us. So you could purchase the property cheaper to ensure you're gonna get a little better profit on the back end and you could avoid some of those costs. Well, you don't avoid them, but they don't sting as much because you'll have more margin in the case there. Next is if you're doing deals without a title company, which in the beginning, I always recommend you use a title company or a real estate attorney. But when you go ahead and get away from title companies, you could do self closings. These are things like properties in the middle of the desert where really you're just paying the filing fee, which could be $25 to $45, huge profits in this, but there also is real estate attorneys. So whereas a title company, let's call it on average five to $700 for closing. And I think I'm being a little high for that. If you're paying more than that, you could call around and see if you can get a better deal before you commit to a title company, but real estate attorneys, you know, 250 upwards to $500. So in that range there, we could tighten that up and they could go ahead and do the title search for you, the filing fees, all that fun stuff. Well, not the filing fees, but the filing process and all that good stuff. So there are a few different ways as we just covered there, either negotiate better deals or go ahead and stick with the margins you're in, but just focus on doing more volume. If you're doing five deals a month and you know, the $10,000 profit collectively off of those five deals isn't enough for you, we got to figure out how to do 10 deals a month, 20 deals a month, and go ahead and expand our profits that way. We could also talk to title companies saying, hey, I'm bringing you X number of deals. Everything's been great. I appreciate the business, but can I get a volume discount? Or for every 15 deals I bring you in a month, can you hit me at this rate? That's a better way to frame it like that. That way, if you have a crappy month, they're like, bro, I did two deals for you, and you're hitting me over the head to cut my rates. But if you're like, hey, if I hustle extra hard, I give you 15 a month, can I get in at this rate? Everybody likes to do business like that. Real estate attorneys, call around, see who's charging what. And like I said, if you're doing off-grid properties and everybody's cool with self-closing, self-close on that deal, less than $50, you have everything done and good to go. And you could also pass some of those expenses on to the buyer too, depending upon how bad your buyer wants the property. So there are a few different ways to go about it. And I know you probably already knew all these answers here, but it's just good to bounce it off of other investors, see what they're up to, but that's how I would approach it. If you're working on incredibly thin margins and you feel like this isn't worth your time, start calling around, see if you can negotiate better rates or just expand your volume rate and then go ahead and just make more money each month. So. Any questions about the land investment game though, please drop those down below. Check the description area as I got plenty of resources there that'll help you on your land investment journey. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.